Wo wollen wir denn zuerst hingehen? Hm. Gut, gucken wir uns erst den Film an, ne? Obwohl, hier ist schon mal das Motel, dann gehen wir uns mal eben hier Hugo's Zimmer anschauen. Bestimmt von oben bis unten voll mit Gummibären oder so. I just remember, I never went inside any of the rooms in the motel. Plus, I don't even know where Yoko's room is. It might be faster to just ask someone. Let's not ask Damn him. Damn right! Hey, Hajime, can you explain it to me again? What happened when you first discovered Ibuki's body? It was the same as when I found it with you guys. Ibuki's body was hanging from the baton lighting. However, there was no body discovery announcement made. That's why I wanted to get you guys. I met up with Chiaki at this motel, and when we were about to go back to the music venue... You met up with Mikan and me. And when we went back to the music venue, the entrance door wouldn't open for some reason. I see. So we had no choice but to break down the door, and discovered Hiyoko's body was suddenly there too. Yeah, that's what happened. Hey! This is the most important part. When you arrived at the motel, who else saw you besides Chiaki? Um, as I recall... Did you hear me? A body was found. Who body? Yeah. And Gundam. Oh. Could it be you into the spread lies? Uh, besides Chiaki, I also saw Gundam and Monomi. I see. So Kazuichi and Sonya didn't appear. Do you think those two are uh, suspicious? Like... Well, Hiyoko was killed between the time you saw Ibuki's body and when we broke down the door, right? So obviously, those two are the most suspicious since they were with us. Uh, that might be it, but... I... Well, we're at it. Let me tell you my alibi, too. When the morning Monokuma announcement woke me up, I went straight to the hospital. I saw Mika panicking in front of the hospital. I asked her what was going on, she said Ibuki disappeared. So you guys split up and looked for Ibuki, huh? Well, yeah. While we were circling the island, we came to the motel and saw you guys there. Did you see anyone else while you circled the island? Well, no. We went to the movie theater, and that street full of machines to look for Ibuki, but we didn't see anyone. <laughs> Are you implying I don't have an alibi because I didn't run into anyone? It's unreasonable for you to doubt me. The time that Mikan and I were on our look The time that Mikan and I were on our own looking for Ibuki wasn't very long. In that short time there's no way I could have killed Hyoko and wrapped her around the pillow with duct tape. It's true, I feel like there wasn't enough time to do that after I left the music venue. But the fact is Hyoko was killed and we did discover her body. Huh? What, you still doubt me? Jeez! Well, I'm used to it. It's true I've done things that I deserve to be doubted for. Huh. So don't worry, even if you doubt me, I won't plan on dismembering you and encasing you in concrete. Yet. <laughs> I don't want to know in advance what I have to do to end up like that. Gut, dann frage ich halt Gundam. So you have a beauty. You're here, right? Come on out. Huh? Are you talking to me? I can see you. Did you really think you could hide your presence like that? I wasn't trying to hide in the first place. Hey, which room was Hiyoko staying in? Listen well! Open the door to the center room. <laughs> Whoever are you prepared? Make sure you pray to whatever god you hold dear and you might want to bring an extra pair of underwear. I wonder, how does this guy talk to his parents and <laughs> teachers? That is a good question. Also die mittlere Tür. Ist das die mittlere Tür? Looks like it's locked. But the key was inside her kimono. Maybe if I use this, it opened. Just as I thought this key was Yoko's room key. Alright, I should go inside. So Yoko was staying here. She only stayed here a few nights, so it doesn't really feel like her room, but I feel a little conflicted. Oh, hello, Sonya. Oh, my! Should the door open? Yeah, Hyoko put the key in her kimono, so I used that to open it. Boah, ich dachte, ich mach mal eben den Ventilator aus, aber es ist automatisch auf der Stelle heiß wie Sau. Um... I see. What? Did something happen? No, it is just... I am starting to believe it might be my fault. Her fault? And show you. What does she mean? Um. The moment Hiyoko came to this motel, she completely shut herself in this room. She was afraid of the despair disease, so she was cautious of you guys too, right? However. However, her fear of the disease was not the only reason she locked herself in her room. She had another reason. Gucken, ob äh, du es eigentlich noch aufnimmt. Nach der komischen Disconnect-Aktion vorhin nimmt aber noch auf. 
Besides that disease, what other reason would make her lock herself in the room? Perhaps. Her kimono. Her kimono? Um. Yesterday, I went to go talk to her. Since she had been in her room for some time, I told her it might be good for her to go outside for a bit. She kept the door to her room locked, but by coincidence, it was not locked at that time. And then I saw it. Huh? Um. Yuko was crying and struggling with her kimono sash. She did not want to smell bad, so she took a shower, but then she could not tie her sash anymore. Mahiro is no longer with us, so I believe she was having trouble with it. She... She didn't leave her room because she couldn't tie her kimono, huh? You are right. The others might have thought it was just a silly sash, but it must have been a serious issue for her. Um... Yugo told me that she learned how to tie her sash from Mahiru. That Mahiru kindly taught her the basics. That's why she wanted to be able to tie her sash on her own. Perhaps. She probably could not forgive herself for not being able to do it, especially since Mahiru taught her. I... I could not really understand her feelings, which is why I said what I did. What did you say? Yoko, by chance, are you having trouble wearing your kimono? Stupid! What are you saying? Of course I can do it! Sieht auch total danach aus. Oh, sechs Zuschauer, gerade waren es auch noch fünf. Because Mahiru taught me. That's why I can do it on my own. Uh, um, if that is the case, how about you do it someplace where there is a mirror? Oh, ah, oh, verstehe. Er hat dir bestimmt von dem uh, Ganzkörperspiegel bei der Music Venue erzählt. Do you remember the full-length mirror in the storage room at the music venue? Oh shit. If you do it while standing in front of a large mirror, I am confident you will be successful. Also, shutting yourself in your room like this may be bad for your health. Um. And that was when she kicked me out. <laughs> Und Christian noch da oder umgekippt vor theory crafting. It cannot be. Could it be? Yoko remembered that. Are you saying she went to the music venue to wear her wear her kimono? Mm, I can see that happening. Yoko locked her room and made sure she put the room key inside her kimono. I can't imagine that. Uh, so I can't imagine that she was abducted by someone. If so, that's weird. Hey, did you tell anyone about that before the incident? Or was someone listening in on your conversation? Um. Uh, I never told this to anyone. And I do not believe anyone was listening in on our conversation. Nobody knew. If that's the case, how did the killer know Hyoko was going to the music venue? Something's wrong. Thomas? That's the dumb fan now. Oh, easy is. Christian is pushing the English now. There's a mirror, but it's too uh, it's so small and rusty. There's no way any can one can use this. I don't see anything else that looks suspicious. There's no sign that someone made a mess of a room, and I don't think she was forcefully abducted. I feel like I couldn't really find any important clue. Oh well. The bed isn't messed up. It doesn't look like she was abducted in her sleep. Dann gehen wir mal zum Movie Theater. Oh, wo ist das? Da. Hi, nein. Hello there. Why, hello there, Hajime. I knew you'd come here. That means you notice it too, right? The case this time is an imitation case, in which the killer used that movie as their theme. I wouldn't know, I haven't watched that movie yet. I see. Then you really should watch this movie first. Hey! Manager, customers here. Did you call me? Yes, did you call me? Well, why? How'd you miss the customer? Do you have a problem with that? What are you gonna do? And you said you didn't want to watch it, but you knew you... I knew you wanted to see it all along. If that's what Tsundere Hajime looks like, then you're really a tough guy. 
you were so devoted to being Tsunuda, you even bought the Monokuma sticker for $1.5 million. Huh? You paid $1.5 million for a sticker? Uh, it's nothing. Listen up! In exchange for not watching this movie, Hajime paid $1.5 million for a Monokuma sticker. Come on, since we're talking about it anyway, why don't you show it to Nagito? Stop it! But my resistance was in vain, and Monokuma reached into my pocket and took the sticker. See, it's this one. I'm sorry I was born stupid. That you bought this for 1.5 million dollars? <laughs> but in the end, he's still gonna watch the movie. Who cares about that anymore? Just hurry up and give me an invitation ticket. Here! Okay, here you go. 2.5D, the fuck is that supposed to mean? It already says so on the invitation ticket, but it's only effective today at this time. By the way, I can only give away one ticket per person. You only have one chance to watch it for free. I already stamped today's date onto the ticket, so you won't be able to cheat. Don't worry, I only plan to watch it once. Look forward to it, okay? I hope we've had a protection reel. Please wait a bit, okay? Hey. Uh, Hajime, about that invitation ticket, I strongly recommend you keep that safe. Huh? Why? No reason. Just think of it as a protective charm. Hmm. I guess I should just wait until Monokuma finishes his preparations. Impossible! Hajime, I can't believe you bought that thing and you paid 1.5 million dollars for it too. But even you said you should have just settled with, with money to get out of seeing that movie. <sighs> You're right, but... That means I would have had to buy the thing, you know. Just leave me alone. That reminds me, that item should be on top of the counter. This one looks like a tote bag made of hand clothes with a decal of Murami's face on it. Oh, did that catch you right? It's an all-purpose tote bag useful for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited item, only one person can have it. If the tote bag is gone, that means... What's this? Well, then, why are you interested in buying the tote bag? Too bad! Well, it's just too bad. It's already sold out. Who'd, who'd you sell it to? You're stupid. so stupid! There's stupid. no way I'd fall for that. There's no way I'd say something that'd reveal who the killer is. <laughs> so the killer bought it. Ah! I remember you said there was only one because it's a limited item, right? It's not limited to one, it's more like limited to one person. What's the difference? Hey, um... When you buy one bag, you get another one free. It's a common practice to bait customers for bonus prices. For some reason hearing you say that <laughs> pisses me off. Well now. Now then, I should forget that I carelessly made a slip of the tongue. Now then. Looks like the preparations are complete, so please enter the theater right away. I can't wait! This is exciting, exciting. Oh, okay. Um. I apologize for keeping you waiting. World famous director Monokuma presents a stunning masterpiece that reduced American audiences to tears. The Wizard of Monomi 2.5D will be screening shortly. From the title alone, I have a bad feeling about this 2.5D. That sounds so half-assed. Now then, please relax and enjoy the film! Okay. Oh, God. Monokuma was born in a remote village full of old people because the death rates outpaced the birth rates. <laughs> One day, Monokuma was swept up by a tornado created by a helicopter gunship during a routine military exercise. Mm -hmm. And was whisked away to Monami's country. Monokuma wanted to return to his homeland so he could go back to pestering the old people for change. <laughs> So he began his journey to see the wizard, Monami, who was rumored to grant any wish one desires. Along the way, he met a very loyal group of friends. 
Monokuma met a Monami scarecrow who was missing a brain. When he recommended that she commit suicide, <laughs> the Monami scarecrow hanged herself and died. He also met a Monami lion who was missing her courage, so he pumped her full of arrows. Mm -hmm. He also met a Monami tin man who was missing a heart, so Monokuma sliced her into lumps of iron. After a lot of other stuff happened, Monokuma finally reached the wizard Monami, the great and powerful. Eventually, one thing led to another, and he started beating <laughs> the crap out of Monami. <laughs> and in the end, he somehow usurped the kingdom from her. With this, Monokuma enslaved the old people took their pensions, and lived the rest of his days in luxury. <laughs> and he lived happily ever after. The end. Oh dear. Phew! My movies are the best. The drama was so moving that I needed two boxes of tissues. One for each head. One for each head. Du hast doch nur einen Kopf. So, well then, let's meet again at the class uh, trial. Bye. I'm too disgusted to even let out a sigh right now. That's all I can say to describe this situation. <laughs> How was it? Actually, I don't even have to ask. I totally expected your reaction. That was honestly the worst movie I've ever seen. Is it even okay to call that a movie? <gasps> Thanks to that movie, now you know, right? Yeah. Just like you said, the characters who were killed in the movie matched the victims. Uh. Oh, and should you go in this case? Ibuki's death by hanging matched the scarecrow's death in the movie. Not just that, but Hyoko's suspended body matches the lion's death too. But it would have been a complete imitation if the killer killed three people. But it seems that was impossible. <laughs> Perhaps the killer is upset about that right now, or... If the killer's main goal was just an imitation murder, they should be upset about it, but I'm not sure if that's even true. Okay. Jetzt müssen wir noch zum Krankenhaus. Oh, wo war das nochmal? Da. I feel like I haven't been here in a while, even though it's only really been a few days. Hey, you prepare that surveillance camera unit, right? Hey, hey! Yeah, so, I didn't make any weird modifications or anything. It's not like I'm suspicious or anything, man. Didn't you get this from that shady-looking alley, where all those machines were lined up? Right! Yeah, I just tweaked it a little. Then, if there are other surveillance camera units, would it be possible to transmit a signal to the hospital from those cameras, too? Man... No, that's impossible. Originally, surveillance cameras and surveillance monitors are only used as part of the same unit. The video that was filmed with the hospital camera can only be viewed on the hospital monitor. The video that was filmed with the music venue camera can only be seen on the music venue monitor. Hey! But if I left it like that, we wouldn't have been able to communicate, so I decided to swap the cameras. So that's how you guys were able to view the hospital footage from the music venue, and vice versa. However, each surveillance camera unit manages its uh, broadcast based on a specific number. So even if you bring the same model camera or monitor, you won't be able to interfere with the signal. Meaning even if another surveillance camera exists, it would be po impossible to broadcast with it. Huh? However, I didn't just swap the cameras, I modified them and increased the wireless range. If, it ha if I hadn't done that, we wouldn't have been able to use it. You're right, you did work on that. Oh, should investigate the lobby first. What's in here, Uncle? First of all, there's a paper on the bulletin board. Apparently, it's a hospital notice. 
Eating and drinking is forbidden within the hospital building. Patients do not need to be accompanied. Overnight stays by non-patients are expressly forbidden. Apparently only one person can accompany the infected thanks to Monokuma's selfish rule. So was for Stefan Hunter's rule. There's a surveillance camera unit on top of the reception desk. As long as the music menu surveillance camera unit is destroyed, it's impossible to broadcast with this. Hajime. Hey Hajime, there's something I want to ask you. You first discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue, right? But why did you go to the music venue? You had a reason for that, right? Did you see something with this camera? That's right! Oh, I always wanted to ask you that. It'd be different, different if the surveillance camera unit could record, but it's only good for household functions. Hey, hey! Tell me, Hajime. Yeah, that's exactly it. I saw a strange video in that surveillance camera unit. It showed the music venue stage. There was a black curtain hanging like there is now, but the whole display was pretty dark because they were just using candlelight. There was a rope hanging from the ceiling and beneath that there was a stepladder on the floor. And right away, a person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head appeared. I didn't know who it was because their face was covered, but now I know that must have been Ibuki. She walked straight to the stepladder and without any hesitation, she climbed that stepladder of her own free will, and then she grabbed that rope, and... That's all I saw. The candlelight being used must have been snuffed out or something, because the screen went dark all of a sudden and it wasn't displaying anything anymore. Man. Well, if the candlelight goes out, obviously nothing will show up. Modern surveillance cameras have infrared functions, so things can still show up even in the dark. But the one I got from the machine alley was a really old model. <gasps> Hold on. Well? At the time, you said you didn't know the person wearing the hemp bag was Ibuki, right? Yeah. Hmm. You didn't know it was her, man, but you saw that she was trying to hang herself, so you rushed over to the music venue to try to stop her. But I didn't make it in time. Hey! So if she climbed the stepladder on her own, does that mean she committed suicide? Wouldn't that mean she's her own killer? Ibuki? Committed suicide? What do you think, Chiaki? There's no doubt Ibuki climbed the stepladder on her own, right? Yeah, there's no doubt. If so... Hmm... You... Hmm. Don't think for so long. If you don't know, just be honest about it. Well, of course she doesn't. There's no way we'd be able to figure that out so easily. Hmm... <gasps> oh yeah, I need to investigate the conference room on the second floor. Hmm... I'm heading up there. <laughs> what the heck, she went away all of a sudden. She said the conference room, but why would she mention the conference room all of a sudden? Also, I might just be overthinking it, but did she seem a little upset? Ja, doch, durchaus. Oh, Arcana. Now then. I'm finally getting back to my normal self. Right. Hajim, help me out with my recovery. You can touch my boobs if you win. Uh, no thanks. She was bearable when she was quiet. It'd be so much better if she was still feeling the after effects. She'd beat me up if I said that out loud. Anyway, why are you here? Hey, hey! Well, I've never been sick or hurt before, so I had no idea, but... <laughs> hospital gowns are pretty comfy. I was thinking I might as well keep wearing one. Don't tell me you plan to wear hospital gowns from now on. Mm. That's the idea, but it looks like they're out of stock. It looked there were, like... It looked like there was one gown for each patient's room, so I thought there'd be more in the empty rooms. There weren't any gowns? Yeah. Yo. Yep, that's right. Ibuki died wearing one, so the only one left is the one Nagito was wearing. <laughs> if I have no choice, then I should just use Nagito's. It's a unisex size, so I'll probably be able to fit in it. Hold on. What happened to the gown you were wearing? Huh? Are you saying I should wear the one I already wore? That's gross. Wearing clothes that someone else was wearing is even grosser. Like... Now time to dilly-dally. I totally left Mikan back at the music venue. Crap, I gotta go back soon. Well, it's okay since I already investigated the music venue, but leaving her on guard duty was a bad idea. <laughs> I smile. Uh, wo wollte ich jetzt hin? Ibuki's Zimmer, ne? Das war hier. Looks like this is an open room. There shouldn't be anybody inside. I should look. Oh, okay. Dann wohl doch nicht. So, jetzt guck ich mich doch nicht mehr an. Na gut. Ähm. Um, was ist das denn? Hm. 
<laughs> okay. Ah, so conference room or staff room? What's this? It's pitch black. I can't see anything. Um, where's the switch? Hey. Don't turn it on. Oh. Don't turn it on. Huh? Ch Chiaki? Are you there? Are you there, Chiaki? Because... If you turn on the light, it's gonna be fully exposed. It will be embarrassing. What's fully exposed? Hey. Ajime. You poke out your eyes. You can turn on the light. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna poke them out? I'm not gonna poke out my eyes. Aww. Bummer. Troll fail. No sooner did you finish saying that, I heard the dry sound of curtains being drawn. There was a flash of intense light that stung my eyes a little. I squinted my eyes until they started adjusting to the light. And I saw Chiaki had finished opening the curtain that was covering the window. Hey, hey! Were you surprised? Surprised? I don't get it. Well? I got it. But what? See? The curtains in this conference room are designed to completely block out light. Mm. There's a projector in here, so they were probably careful about light shining through. Also, yeah, clear. See? See, a black curtain that blocks light and it's also long enough to reach the floor. It's perfect. A black light blocking curtain. That's why it was so dark. So, is something wrong with it? Mm. I'm still in the middle of investigating, so it's a secret. Yep, she's upset. But still, what was all that about? That bit about it being embarrassing if I look into troll fail? Nope. I just want to mess with, mess with you. Yep, she's definitely upset. Why is she acting so childish? I guess I'm in... Okay, I, I, guess, I guess I'm done investigating the hospital. I should move on to a different place. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. It's everyone's favorite Whoa, time. Oh, how's everybody doing? It's me, Monokuma! Yay! Awesome! <laughs> the class trial's gonna start, you know. So, make sure you guys come to Monokuma Rock ASAP. <laughs> I'll see you soon. It's already time. So, this again. I need to go to that place again, but now it's not the time to be a coward. The reason Ibuki and Hiyoko became uh, victims in order to find the truth. The only thing I can do is go. Okay. Oh, da bin ich ja schon hier. Everyone who heard the announcement had gathered in front of Monokuma Rock. And soon enough... Welcome! Is everybody here? Do you guys want to go to the class trial? Wait! Hey, Jack, hold it right there. Monami's such a dumb child. <laughs> Monokuma's such a dumb child. Don't get in my way. You're just a dumb little sister who's short a few brain cells. Hey! My brain works not fine. Hey, hey! Monokuma. Why did you do with Nikomaru? Mm. I see, so you've come to avenge him. Yes! Avenge? That sounds like he died. <laughs> sounds like you say. Oops. Anyway... It's Nikomaru is unfortunately unavailable today. Let's just say he's absent. Uh, bye bye Now then, I gotta go first. I won't let you... Hold on, I won't let you escape. Hey, hey! Uh, did you hear what she said? Um, huh? Don't worry about it. There's no way Nikomaru is dead. He's just trying to piss us off. D damn it! Of course he's not dead. There's no way. Not in a million years. Well... More importantly, it's best if we worry about ourselves for now. <laughs> if something happens here, every one of us except Nikomaru will die. <laughs> Why are you so excited about that? How about it? Who knows? Maybe I'm just looking forward to seeing poetic justice prevail. What do you get? What are you saying, fiend? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. See? Then let's go. I'm gonna do it! Alright, let's hurry up and get this over with. Yeah, you're right. Okay.
Okay, mit wem muss ich sprechen? Oder muss ich einfach nur gucken? We stopped onto the escalator and ascended toward the gaping maw of Monokuma Rock. And that's when I suddenly noticed it. I noticed our lined up silhouettes keep getting smaller and smaller. But I can't turn back now. If I turn back I won't be able to press forward. And when everyone was inside, Monokuma Rock, it came wieder zu. The elevator began its deep descent as usual, but nobody said a word. As we stood there trying to figure out what to say to each other, the elevator descended deeper and deeper. And when it descended as far as it could go, it finally stopped. The elevator doors opened slowly, almost tantalizingly so. Light poured through from the other side, eroding the boundaries of the darkness. And I walked into that place. Mal gucken, wie es da diesmal aussieht. Der hat ja bestimmt wieder umdekoriert. Hm? Was soll das denn jetzt sein? My, my. It feels pretty toothless with all these empty seats. <laughs> Two people got killed at the same time, and Nikomaru is not here either. Hey, hey! Is Nikomaru really not participating? If he's alive, you should invite him. No, no! Why bother? Let's... What? Well, now. Now then, let's begin. Yahoo! It's the beginning of the long-awaited class trial. Please enjoy it to your heart's content. Okay. So the, the curtain to the third class trial was about to open. Ich gehe gleich noch mal die bisherigen Clues durch, damit wir einen Überblick haben. Und dann machen wir noch ein bisschen weiter. Es ist ja jetzt erst 20 vor 10. Und ich wollte heute bis 11 machen. So circa. Vielleicht weniger, vielleicht mehr. Mal gucken. Ibuki Miura, the ultimate musician. She was really loud, but she was the mood maker of our group. Ich schätze mal, 11 ist ganz gut. Wenn ich so lange mache, dann müssen wir natürlich auch schon alle ins Bett. When I was with her, all of my pain and suffering just seemed to melt away. Yoko Sayonji, the ultimate traditional dancer. Jetzt müsste eigentlich nur so drei Punkte kommen, weil ihm nichts Nettes zu ihr einfällt. Just from looking at her adorable face, you'd never know she was actually selfish and foul-mouthed. But she was trying to change herself and she was just desperately trying to come to terms with Mahiru's death. The person who killed those two is among us. Definitely can't believe it. But whether I believe it or not, it's irrelevant. Is irrelevant. Unless I figure out the truth, I won't be able to escape from this hell. That's why I must find out, no matter the cost. For our sake. For our friend's sake. For Ibuki and Hyoko's sake. And so the curtain to the third class trial was about to open. This life-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, has begun.